Crystal Kenny here. In this video, we will continue with ideal gas law. What exactly is ideal gas law? The simple formula for ideal gas law is PV equals NRTE. What does each of the term mean? P stands for pressure. V stands for volume. Look carefully. The volume must be in liters. N is the number of moles. R is gas constant. But look again. The values of R are all these different values. How do you know which value to select? That depends upon the unit of pressure and also unit for R. In unit for R, you will see a unit for pressure. So as long as that's matching, we are in good shape. That means if the pressure is given to me in kilopascal, I'm going to use 8.314 versus if Suppose pressure is given to me in atmosphere, I'm going to use 0.0821 as R value. And of course, you know, temperature must be in Kelvin. So, these are two other forms of ideal gas law. In fact, it is nothing but simply plug and chug, substitute and rearrange. That's all. So, what is N? Number of moles. If you recall, number of moles is always mass divided by molar mass. So if I put that value of N as mass divided by molar mass, what I get is another equation for ideal gas law. And now let me do one more thing. If I rearrange this, then I am going to end up molar mass is equal to mass divided by P times V and that times R and T. Now look carefully. Here we have mass divided by volume. What is it? That is equal to simply density. So if I put that density, everything else remains same and I get a new formula. Molar mass is DRT over V. So we ended up getting three different formulas for a simple ideal gas law. Alright, let's begin with our very first problem for ideal gas law. And we always begin with given. So that's volume, that's temperature and that is obviously pressure. So volume is 500 milliliters. Temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and pressure is 1.77 atmosphere. Okay, what do we know about volume? For ideal gas law, it must be in liters. Let's convert this to liters. And when we do that, we know we need to put 1 here and this is 1 times 10 to negative 3. When we solve that, we get answer 0 0.500 liters. Temperature must be in Kelvin. So let's add that 273 and that is 293 Kelvin. Now remember the pressure units must match the units for R. So for atmosphere value which we have over here, the R value which we get is 0 0.0821. And now it is simply plug and check to find out the moles of oxygen gas. So the formula is PV equals NRT and I am simply going to plug the values, that's pressure, volume is the one in liters, that's 0.5 equals N, that's for unknown, R is 0.0821 and temperature is 293. When we solve for that N, what I got was 0.0368. And those are the moles. Here is one more problem. And let's begin again listing what is given and see if we need to make any changes for converting the units. So the very first thing is mass. That is 1.60 grams. Then it's volume which is 500 milliliters. And we just did this milliliters must be in converted to 
liters and since we did it just in earlier problem I'm going to write down that as 0.5 liters and then we get pressure 2500 millimeter of mercury and we have temperature as 350 Kelvin now what's the R value we need to get since this is millimeter of mercury which is equal to tau R value is 62.4 and then we are going to plug the values to find out the answer what are we looking for we need to find out the unknown element and how do we get that if we know the molar mass we will be able to figure out which element we have and also look carefully that's a diatomic gas that means the molar mass will be for two atoms so whatever molar mass you get you need to make sure you convert that to the mass of one atom and you're going to find out the unknown things now I am going to write down the regular formula for the gas laws ideal gas law which is PV equal to nRT and then I can put the value for N as mass divided by molar mass and then if I plug and check what I get is molar mass is mass divided by PV times RT and now it is simply plug and check so 1.6 R value which is 62.4 times temperature is 350 divided by pressure and that times volume and what do we get when we solve we end up getting 28 as the answer if it is a diatomic element we need to divide that 28 by 2 so that ends up giving you value as 14 and if 14 is the atomic mass then which element that must be if you look in periodic table that is nothing but nitrogen so look at that we are able to find out the unknown element easily okay. let's look at this problem now we need to find out the density of oxygen gas and these are the only two values given let's list those temperature is 70 Celsius. Make sure you convert that to Kelvin and that is simply 343 Kelvin. And then we have pressure 3.0 atmosphere. Keep in mind that will tell you which R value to select. Since this is atmosphere, R value must be also in atmosphere which is 0.0821. And now it's simply plug and chuck if you use the right formula. Remember we need to find density. So the formula which we have should indicate there is density there. Which formula is that? It's molar mass equals DRT over PD. And then if I rearrange that for density, what do we get? We get P times molar mass divided by RT. Let's plug and check. So density will be pressure 3.0. Then we have molar mass for oxygen. How much is that? It's O2. If there are two atoms, then the molar mass will be 16 times 2, which is 32. Okay. So I got 32 as the molar mass. That divided by R. And right there we have temperature T which is 343 when we solve that we end up getting 3.41 grams per liter let's do one more final problem in this case density is given to us pressure is given and temperature is given we need to find out the molar mass for the gas let's list all the values that's density then we have pressure remember if pressure is in torque 
we need to make sure that our value is also in tour, which is 62.4, and then we have temperature, 5 degrees Celsius, which is 5 degrees plus 273, and that will be 278 Kelvin. And then what's the formula which we have? We have formula for molar mass equals DRT over P. We are going to simply plug the values in the formula. So we have molar mass equals density 1.96. Then we have R value, temperature here, and that divided by pressure 755. And when we solve that, we end up getting 45.0 grams per mole as the molar mass. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Bye-bye.